Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today we're going to be talking trash. Beauty trash, that is. And I'm going to show you the empties that I've used up in the month of February. And kind of do a little bit of a mini review. Let you know what I thought about it. And if I would repurchase again. I don't have a whole lot because I did my January empties like really, really late. But anyway, I have a little bit. So we're going to get started and that way it won't be too long. So first I have a um, shower gel from Bliss and this is the Blood Orange and White Pepper Soapy Suds Body Wash and Bubbling Bath. And I really did like the smell of this. It smelled so good. I don't think I'm going to repurchase because it had a tendency to irritate my arms and I don't want to just buy a body wash to use on the lower half of my body. I want to be able to use it everywhere instead of just partially. So I don't think I'll repurchase it. It is a little pricey, but the smell of it, oh, it smells so good. So if you're not irritated by um, fragrances, and you might really like this because it smells, oh, it smells good, like orange. Mm, it smells good. Then I have this from MAC. This is the MAC Brush Cleanser. Um, this I'm not going to um, repurchase, not because it was a bad product. I just liked the Cinema Secrets um, brush cleaner a lot better than this, so I'm not going to repurchase, but I will be um, back to macking this little guy. Then I have this right here. This is an EOS um, shave cream, and no, I won't be repurchasing it. I'm just not one to use shave creams. Um, I don't know why. I just I just don't use them. So no, I'm not going to repurchase it. And not that it was bad. I just don't like shave creams. Anyway, this right here was a little sample from Lush. This is the Curly Whirly um, hair cleanser. I loved, loved, loved the smell of this. It smells so good. It's coconut. And I don't know, I have a little bit in there that you might be able to see. But anyway, it has pieces of coconut in it. And those pieces of coconut, even though this is geared toward and specifically designed for curly hair, those little coconut pieces would get trapped and lost in my curls and I can't get them rinsed out so I'm not going to purchase that it was just a little sample have a hair oil this is the um, what is this Nysant um, elixir the intense elixir I bought this off of Lisa Lisa D1's um, website but you can get it off of Amazon I didn't really care for it I definitely did not care for this pump because it would not just pump it out. It would, it was such a pain to get out. And then when you would finally get it to squirt, it would go everywhere. So, no, not going to repurchase that. Um, I've said in some other videos that I really, out of all of the hair oils that I've tried, I really, really do like the, um, oh crap, my battery is dying. I really do like the um, one from, Kerastase better. What I want to talk about is this one from MAC. This is the Prep and Prime Eyelash Primer. It's one of those white primers that you put on your lashes before your mascara. And I didn't actually use this. My daughter did and she really likes it. She felt like it really made her lashes very thick and bold and she actually would like for me to purchase her another one. So I have another MAC, another Back to MAC. So if you like those kind of primers for your eyelashes, you probably would like that one. I used up the Dior Show uh, Maximizer Lash Plumping Serum. Eh, I don't know. To me, it's just an extra step. I just don't really care for using something like this. So... I didn't really think that it made that big of a difference in my eyelashes and the way that my mascara looked to warrant me repurchasing it or purchasing another brand of it. So, just not going to do it. 
Okay, this little guy right here, this is a cargo blush. This is not empty. This is in the color um, ah, Biza, I-B-I-Z-A, I don't know. Anyway, the way that these are packed in these tins, they're so fragile. And that, ooh, that has just completely broke and crumbled. And I am just going to toss it. I'm not going to try to um, press it. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I will. Anyway, whatever. Um, it's broke. It's either going to go in the trash or I'm going to repress it. I just don't know. I don't know. Anyway, um, I have this little moisturizer. This is from Coda Lee. I did not like this. I didn't even finish using it. It was a deluxe sample that I'm pretty sure I got as, you know, an extra bonus with Sephora when you put in those codes. But this stuff was really, really bad about peeling up on my face, and I didn't like it. I mean, I would go to put my makeup on, and everything would start rolling in those little bitty balls, and I didn't like it. I would use it at night. It would do the same thing. just didn't absorb into the skin. It just sat there, and then just kind of rolled up. Not a fan of that at all. Uh, let's see. Okay. This little guy right here was in my um, 2016 Project Pan. This is the MAC Prep and Prime um, Transparent Finishing Powder. I must have, apparently I didn't have a whole lot left in that because I did use it up. It is empty. I did not care for it at all. I felt like it was drying. It had those little bitty micro glitters in it. And for a mature woman, that is just not something that I want to put all over my face. I tried using it to set under my eyes and it just dried my under eyes out so bad. So this will definitely not be a repurchase and this little container is going back to MAC. Okay, another one of the items that I had in my project pan was this La Mer, La Mer moisturizing cream. I bought this three years ago, four years ago and I would only bring it out and use it in the winter time. Smells really nice. It has a lot of hype to it. You know, supposedly this is the best moisturizing cream on the entire planet, according to all the celebrities. Um, it was um, designed or created to help with burn victims, you know, with their skin and the dryness of their new skin healing and everything. I didn't care for it at all. I did not feel like it was that moisturizing. I felt like when I would wake up in the morning, my skin felt parched and dehydrated. So for as expensive as this is, no, I'm not going to be rebuying that at all. Not going to happen. Then I have this little um, eyebrow, little razor thing. This is called the, um, the Twinkle. Yeah, Twinkle, I think it is, or Tinkle, Twinkle, something like that. Anyway, I bought a box of them on Amazon. I don't use it on my eyebrows. I use this to um, shave my face, to get all the little peach fuzzies off of my face, and that's what I use that for. And that one has gotten a little bit dull, and it's a little bit rough on my skin, so that one is going away. Then I have a um, Dr. Dennis Gross, the Alpha Beta extra strength resurfacing refiner those little pads little pill pads there's a step one and a step two i like to use these and i like to get like samples of them anytime sephora offers them in like a hundred point perk or as an extra bonus that you can get them when you make a purchase i always try to get those another item that i had in my project 2016 use up was this perfume and this is from the elizabeth and james nirvana white and looks like that there you know at one time this was the biggest hype talked about item on youtube everybody was getting it they were getting the white getting the black mixing them together it was the most delightful fragrance that you ever smelt in your entire life no it was not. I did not like it. I definitely didn't like the black. I had a little sample of it. I definitely didn't like them mixed. I didn't like them individually. And no, I'm not repurchasing this ever again. No, I'm glad it's gone. Did not like it. Okay, let's do this little guy. This is a Rapid Lash 
little serum that you put on your lashes. Not your last lashes. No. I am lying. Liar. No. This is the Rapid Brow. This you put on your eyebrows. It was just a little serum. I did like this. I felt like I could really see a difference in my eyebrows when I was using it. As a matter of fact, I know I was because I was having to get them threaded more frequently. But since I've stopped using this, I think they have definitely gone back to the stage that they were prior to using this, if not even further back than that. I just feel like they're just like really, really thin. So I'm just wondering if the new growth that I was able to accomplish with this, if once I quit using it, it just completely went away and then some. Anyway, I got this off a of Hot Look. I definitely wouldn't pay full price for it, but if it was on Hot Look again, I would try it. Matter of fact, you guys can tell me what you think, but I have heard about or thought about getting the Equate brand of the Rogaine and using that on my eyebrows. What do you think? Let me know. Okay, a um, couple samples. I had this from Belief. This was the Belief, the True Cream Aqua Balm. Increased hydration levels by 18%. And it was a good moisturizer. I mean, it wasn't bad. Um, it wasn't enough in there to let me know if I had, you know, increased my hydration. But it was a good um, moisturizer for day. It wasn't enough for night for me. Then I have this from S from Fresh. Me and my camera have been fighting this afternoon. This is from Fresh. This is the Peony Spot Correcting Brightening Essence and with peony root extract and of course you know it's supposed to help diminish your spots and everything but you know with it being just a little sample you don't really see results but it was a nice serum it would be something I would consider possibly repurchasing or purchasing anyway okay the last item I have is this little guy here this is the good jeans by Sunday Riley it's like that there and this was in a double pack that I got during the um, VIB sale back in November it was? Yeah, November. And it came with this and then with the little Luna oil. I really did like this. Matter of fact, I was very skeptical. Skeptical? No, I can't say it. Anyway, I didn't I didn't think that, you know, because you know how things are new and everybody and the dog on YouTube talks about it, how wonderful it is, and then you buy it and it's crap. Well, this wasn't. This was really good. And I got it in a double pack. They still have the double packs online on Sephora website because I did look. You get, I don't remember how much this is, an ounce, I think, and then an ounce of the Luna Oil for $78. But I like this a lot better than the Luna Oil. Anyway, I um, was down to the last. It has a little pump. And I was just curious because the bottle, the way the bottle looks, see, you would think that there's like a lot of product still in there. But that is the color of the bottle. It is like a frost, a really heavy frosted bottle. I mean, there's nothing in there at all because the way it was packaged, it was packaged in this little pouch here this little um, heavy duty plastic pouch with the pump and then you pumped it out there's a little bit left here and um, I'm going to actually I'm going to um, cut this open tonight and finish this up and get every last drop of this goodness out of this little tube here but I thought it was kind of interesting the way they have this packaged for some reason I don't know, because I thought, you know, I wanted to get this off because I thought, you know, I had all this product in here. I made, wanted to make sure I got in there, scraped it all out, and I finally got the lid off, and this little guy pops out, and I thought, oh, that's very interesting. I don't know if, I just felt like this was wonderful at exfoliating my skin as far as being a chemical exfoliant, and um, 
I know there are some people that like to use this during the day, but I felt it was a little bit too drying for my skin during the day. So I definitely used it at night. I didn't use it every single night because I felt like I just didn't need that much of it every night. So I would probably use it like every other night. And like I said, I got this in November. So it lasted, you know, quite a long time because it just took a pump of this little guy for my skin and definitely I have another one of these and when that one's gone I um, will probably very much consider getting the um, the big size of it matter of fact in Sephora I'm going to be having a spring sale here pretty soon like 15% off might be something I might end up buying but anyway so that is it for this month's empties I hope you enjoyed and we'll continue to watch and subscribe, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye!